Hey there, Capricorn. This is Renee, and welcome back. Capricorn, this is going to be your general reading for March. So let's jump into your energy. What's going on for Capricorn? Sun, moon, and rising. A message for Capricorn for the greatest good. Okay, we have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, there we go. And we have abundance. I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So, beautiful, Capricorn. You are manifesting you know, balance and abundance. So this is beautiful energy so far. Let's get some more messages. Give me more messages for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, and Rising for the greatest good. Okay, we have rejection. Okay. And at the bottom, we have self-worth. Okay, there may be something that had rejected you. Or you had to reject some sort of situation because you know it wasn't good for you. It wasn't fulfilling, okay? That's the energy that I'm getting. I'm getting that, you know, there's something that you had to reject. There's something that just didn't fit, okay? It didn't fit into your plan. So let's get a message for Capricorn. What can we tell Capricorn? Spirit, give me a message for Capricorn. Sun, moon, and rising. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. Wow, we have the Hangman. Okay, we have the Moon. We have the Five of Cups. Wow, and the King of Swords. Okay, at the bottom we have the Three of Cups. Okay, so Capricorn, here's the thing. Okay, I, I feel like, you know, this is that rejection and self-worth here that we are looking at. Because I feel like there's some kind of challenges, some kind of chaos that, you know, kind of involved you. This may have to deal with a um, air sign since there's so much air here. It may be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that you're dealing with. But I feel like there's been a lot of arguments a lot of you know conflict going on and i feel like you're done with it you're ready for it to be over you're thinking to yourself you know how am i going to get out of this situation um where is the situation really leading me into and do i really like the person that i'm becoming trying to deal with this situation okay i, I feel like you're like thinking of ways to figure out how to kind of Find out the hidden meanings to things. Try to find that hidden path that's going to lead you out of the situation and move you away from being so, you know, caught in all of this conflict. You know, I feel like you're done with it. You just, you're just tired of feeling that way. You're tired of being around people who are bringing drama, people who, you know, don't have anything good to say. I feel like you're moving past that. You're, you're, something is being revealed to you that's making you leave the situation. That's making you distance yourself from people who are bringing conflict and drama. You know, you're distancing yourself from that situation because you don't find it, you know, being worth anything. That's where this rejection is coming from. You're rejecting all of this situation, all of the drama. You're becoming more clear on what it is that you want and how you want things to go. You have a, um, you have your eyes set on the way you expect something to be. And I feel like you're following that, you know, you're following that sight to where you are, you know, I'm not going to accept anything less. I'm going to accept, 
the way this needs to be and that's it. I feel like you're being very stern. You're set in exactly how you feel, exactly what you're thinking, and you're very stern on this. You're not backing down. You know, you're not giving in to all of the conflict and everything that's going on. You're, you're choosing to back away, okay? Okay, let's get a little bit of clarity for the situation for um, Capricorn. Let's get some clarity on the situation, please. For the Five of Swords, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. For the Ten of uh, Swords, we have the Star. Wow. For the um, Hangman, we have the Devil. For the Moon, we have the Death card. For the Five of Cups, we have the Five of Wands. And for the King of Swords, we have the Queen of Wands. Oh my gosh. And Capricorn, the outcome, you're finding more happiness. You're finding more peace. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling more peace in this situation. You're getting peace of mind. You're having more happy thoughts, happy times. You're surrounding yourself by more happy people. Okay, um, with this five of swords and this uh, ten of pentacles, I feel like you've made a choice. You're only taking in what is acceptable for you. You're, you're working on your abundance, your happiness. You're working on what makes you happy. You're leaving everything else behind. You're like, this doesn't matter to me no more. I'm walking away from drama and I'm just looking towards my prosperity. Okay? You're looking towards what makes you happy. You know? And I feel like, you know, you are done with it. You're done with the situation. You want to... Surround yourself by more light. You want to surround yourself by more healing, more goodness, more recovery, you know? And I feel like you're not accepting anything less than that. I feel like you're focused on your healing and what makes you feel good. And with the hangman, look at this, the devil. This is your card, actually, Capricorn. So I feel like you're standing out here and you're making a stand. You're letting them know that these toxic situations that are going on, you're taking a stand and you're stepping out on your own if you have to. You know, you're more focused on your happiness, your well-being. You're putting Capricorn first, okay? And I feel like whatever this is that's being revealed to you, what's done in the dark is, is you know, is shined in the light, you know? is Something is focused. Something is becoming more clear because it's being revealed. And I feel like this is pushing you into this transformation, into something being ended and then something new beginning. Something new is being created here. I feel like you're changing. You're changing yourself and you're changing your situation because you're distancing yourself from things that just don't feel good anymore. Okay? You... you, you are finding yourself on the path of, you know, focusing on Capricorn and not veering away from the situation. See, because we're, as you're walking away from the situation, you're rebuilding a new situation with this Five of Wands. See, they're, they're not fighting, they're training. So I feel like, you know, you are training yourself to stay away from these situations, to just turn your back and walk away because you, you're you just, you're like, I feel too old for this drama. I'm not going to deal with this. You know, I'm letting this go. They can have all this drama that they want. I'm building something new. I'm building my own creation. You know, I'm you know, focusing on this, okay? Because look, as we get the King of Swords, as you're finding clarity in the situation, we're going to the Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands energy, she's very assertive. She's very um, focused on what it is she wants, and she pursues it. 
you know, so I feel like you've come to believe in yourself, in a situation, in the way that you want things, and you're taking action to receive them. You're not taking no for an answer. You're just running with the yeses, okay? You are pursuing some kind of action that's that, that you know is for your greatest good, that you know is for your greatest outcome, okay? So I feel like that is what you're doing. You're walking away from drama. You're no longer letting it affect you. You're no longer letting it um, have any place in your life, you know, because you're looking for balance. You're working on your abundance, you know. You may be working on feeling self-worth. You know, feeling like you're an asset and not like you're a liability, okay? So you're totally rejecting the conflicts that are coming in because you feel like it has no place, okay? So you're running away from the drama. Okay, let's get a conclusion for Capricorn. Give me a message for Capricorn. What's an outcome, please? Give me an outcome for Capricorn, okay? The emperor, yes, you are taking control. You're walking away. The king of wands, wow, taking action. Definitely the ace of pentacles. You're starting something new. You're bringing something new. This is a blessing, Capricorn. This is abundance coming through for you, okay? This is your abundance. Because you, you are taking control of your situation. Look at this. The emperor, he's a master manifester. He's taking control of the situation and he's not backing down. He has full authority to do whatever he's doing, you know. And I feel like you are taking those things, taking your... Um, Taking your, your struggles, your challenges, your lessons, the lessons that you've learned from the situation, you're taking those lessons and you're walking away. You're leaving that behind because you, you see that it's not serving you. You see what's serving you is learning from the lessons that you've learned from, you know, and taking that knowledge with you and moving on, moving towards your control. You know, taking more control of your life. You know, building your abundance, building your master plan is what I'm getting. You know, and we also have the King of Wands. Look at this. The King of Wands, he's very close to the Emperor because he's very assertive. He knows when to take action. And see, he's wearing this cloak with the chameleons on it. That Those chameleons represent adapting. You're adapting to a better situation. You're figuring things out. You're taking action. You're no longer standing by and listening to all this conflict and all this, you know, drama that's going on. You're taking those lessons that you learned with these situations, with these people that you had to let go of, and you're moving forward. You're moving towards a better destiny, a better situation being more adaptable and taking control of the situation. You know, you're no longer letting the situation take control of you or take control of your emotions. Okay? So that's beautiful energy, Capricorn. Okay. Let's get an angel card for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to go? Need to know, angels, please. Message for Capricorn. A message for Capricorn. Okay, we have we have the power of prayer. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon divine guidance God gives you in response to your your prayers. Okay, beautiful message. And that's exactly what we're saying, you know. Um, I feel like you're moving past. 
You're moving forward. You are adapting to a better situation. Okay, Capricorn? Let's get a Moonology Manifestation card for Capricorn. We'll take this one. Mm. We have first quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation. Yeah, before you jump into a situation, assess the situation. Look at it from all sides, okay? And we also have first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Know when to put yourself first, Capricorn. Know when not to immerse your feelings into a situation that you cannot handle, okay? Don't accept drama just because it's there. You know, sometimes it's not your burden to bear. Sometimes those challenges are someone else's to carry, you know? So be wise to that, Capricorn. Okay, let's get an angel number for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know, please? Okay. Okay, yes. I'm liking this. We have 999, release. Okay, and endings are new beginnings in disguise. An ending symbolizes the closure of one door and the opening of another. The whisper is reminding you to release and allow. It is in the release where the magic happens. Okay, and your affirmation, Capricorn, doors open for me where others have closed, bringing transformation to my mind, my body, and my soul. Okay, if this reading resonates with you, in the comment section, type in 999. As one door opens, Another closes, bringing transformation, okay? Beautiful energy here. Okay, that is the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have them in a playlist. You can find it under March. And take a look at your Venus, too, if you're open for love, okay? And Capricorn, until your next reading, many, many, many blessings to you. Love and light.